right guys what's going on in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install Archie Steam Farm. If you don't know what Archie Steam Farm is basically it's a terminal based or command prompt based application that automates certain tasks on Steam for you. So its main purpose used by everyone is idling Steam cards if there are many other uses uh, such as idling hours on games you can't even play usually so I'll show you how to set up this and um, also for idling Steam cards. So if you don't know what that means if you go to your badges page um, and usually around the second or third page before your completed badges. If you scroll down, you'll see for certain games that you have uh, card drops remaining. Um, basically what those mean is that as you gain uh, playtime on certain games that have cards available, um, then you'll just get cards for free. Um, how this works is as your playtime goes up, you just get the cards. So I'll be showing you guys how to set that up, the web UI also, and how to encrypt your password for uh, Archie Steam Farm. Um, if you're worried about entering your password on here, it's completely safe. Uh, the reason you have to log in is to use API calls to trick, in, to trick or basically tell Steam to do certain things. Uh, this is used by a lot of bots on Steam and thousands of other uh, players, so you have nothing to worry about as long as you're getting the official GitHub one, which we are going over in this tutorial. So without further ado, we're going to get in the installation process. You want to click on releases here. Uh, I skipped the pre-release because experimental version. So I recommend the latest release or the stable one and scroll down here and get the windows version .zip file. Put that in somewhere, near, somewhere you'll remember. Go ahead and put it in my downloads. And uh, just a heads up, there are some prerequisites. Make sure you at least have Visual C++ 2015. And also, it's highly recommended you have all the Windows updates in general for security updates, but at the very least, you need these two. But uh, more updates may be needed. I'm going to be mentioning the wiki a lot here. Uh, if you have any questions or I don't go over, go over it, everything because I'm only covering the basic installation, basically, I, check, uh, I recommend you check out here because there's a lot of detail on um, anything that you're unsure about, commands, config files, so be sure to check out the wiki. Um, but now back to our download, it will be a .zip file, so you will need a WinRAR 7 zip. Just go ahead and right click that and extract two once you have them. And then we'll get the folder right here. So we're going to come back to this later, going on the next link. We're going to use the ASF config generator, generate the main configs for ASF. So click ASF here, make sure you're on the latest, and then toggle advanced settings. So right here we're going to need to get our Steam owner ID. I recommend Steam ID IO. Just go ahead and type in your username or your custom uh, URL that you use to log in, and then you can copy your Steam ID 64, and then paste that in. This will allow us to uh, use commands, basically. Uh, max uh, trade hold duration, we're going to skip over that. I'm going to skip over a lot of things here um, because we won't be setting that up for basic uh, idling cards, but the main thing we're going to set up here is IPC. Go ahead and set a password. I'm just going to set that 12345 but I recommend a more uh, difficult password, especially if you're going to set up remote access later on. Skipping over these settings, once again, check the wiki for any questions about them. Uh, right here, updates. We're going to make sure we're unstable since we download the latest, and also just a heads up, optimization mode. I recommend max performance, but if you're really low on RAM usage uh, and your hardware isn't the best, then you can use minimum memory usage, but you'll find out Archie is already so lightweight since it's a terminal command prompt based application that you won't even need the other. Uh, you won't really need that much RAM anyway. Uh, once we have all this, we're going to click download. Download at the same spot. So just show you guys here, if you open up your JSON file, this is everything we put in through the web config generator. So we're good to go there. It's the old one I had, ignore that. Okay, and now that we're set up, um, we can go ahead and right click the JSON file, cut or copy that, and go into the folder that we extracted from the zip file, go into the config folder from there, and paste in our asf.json. Go back one, and now we're actually ready to launch Archie Steam Farm for the first time. And it's going to register, it's our first time launching the program. And it's going to mention us to check out the wiki if we're concerned about anything it's doing. Basically, like I said, it's going to make API calls, so that's why we have to log in. Um, but it's completely safe. It's going to check version. We're on the latest. And here is starting IPC server. 
So once we're good, we can go to this URL, which is basically localhost 1242. Shouldn't have any issues running uh, this URL. Um, if you are, it could be a firewall, but since you're not port forwarding yet uh, for remote access, it shouldn't be a problem. But uh, if you guys do set that up, there's plenty of port forwarding tutorials on YouTube. Uh, if you have any questions, I can try to help you out in the comments, but I really recommend any tutorial. Uh, and this is the web UI. Um, you might have to put in the password. I didn't have to because Firefox automatically re uh, remembered me from putting it in last time. But uh, go ahead and put in the password that you made from the ASF.json uh, folder. And then uh, now we're ready to create our new bot. So right here, you can give it a name, main, bot1, whatever you want. I'm going to call it my name, Crazy Ian. Steam login, go ahead and put your Steam login there, your uh, username and password to use to log into Steam. I'm going to skip the password real quick for now. Uh, we're going to enable the bot right here for online status. So if you leave it on online, basically what will happen is as you're idling games on Steam for cards, you'll be switching games back and forth and it will display on your friends list that you're playing those games. If you don't want to trick your friends or see them that you're you know, playing this game when you're actually just idling it, go ahead and set this to offline. Basically, that will just make you appear online on Steam, but it won't display you as playing uh, the games that Archie is playing for you. I recommend this um, just not to spam your friends list, uh, but if you want to leave it online and then add a custom message later on, then you can do that. Uh, if you are setting Archie on an alt account and you're going to use commands through the Steam chat, then make sure to go invisible or your commands won't work. But we're going to go offline for this tutorial. Bot behavior, cool things here if you want to set dismiss inventory notifications, stuff like that, but I'm going to skip. Password format, uh, so basically once we put our password in here, it's going to store it as a plain text. But we want to encrypt it later on, so we're going to do protected data for current users. You can use AES, but I think this is the most secure. Basically, this will encrypt uh, the password, but also make it so that um, the JSON file will only work on the current uh, computer that you're running Windows on right now. So basically, even if you transfer your JSON folder, people won't be able to log in uh, with that JSON uh, file because it's only going to work on this current uh, computer we're setting this up for. Use login keys, I recommend this because uh, this is basically Steam Guard codes. Once we enter in our Steam Guard code, it will be saved as a key, and then we won't have to uh, enter it in all the time we log in well, with Archie. Uh, skipping over access here, this is if you want to set up uh, on an alt account to set up uh, users as master. We'll skip that. Trading here, you can automatically accept gifts. For example, if someone sends you a bunch of items uh, with nothing that you have to give them, Archie can automatically accept it. Going to skip over this stuff. Uh, just a heads up also, you can hit the question mark for more info, but uh, the wiki also has even more info in my opinion. Farming, I recommend unordered if you're just trying to get every card, but if you want to, for example, get the most marketable first, if you want to sell your cards, then you can go ahead and do that. Uh, auto Steam Sale event, basically what this is exactly is for certain Steam sale events, Archie might be able to automate the process, but we won't know until the event comes out and if it gets updated. But since I like to do the event on my own sometimes, I'm going to disable this. But if you're really lazy and just want to get the cards, enable this. This is finally default. Idable refundable games. So right here, basically, how this works is uh, if you didn't know the Steam Store, uh, if you don't play a game longer than two hours, you have the ability to refund it. So if you don't want Archie to um, idle games that you haven't played yet and basically take away your chance to refund it, then uh, you want to disable this. But since I often don't refund games, I'm going to enable it. We're not going to shut down on farming finish because right here we're going to get into games played while idle. So as seen on my profile here, I have almost 7,000 hours on Steam. That's with this. So basically once, once Archie is done farming uh, cards in certain games, basically you'll start farming uh, hours in these games that you list here. You can list up to 32 app IDs, 32 games that it can play at the same time gaining hours in. Uh, for me, I just do Steam, which is app ID 753, but you can do add up to 32 and it will play it all at the same time gaining hours in that. Um, if you, next up, if you uh, went online up here and set this to online, then you can add custom message here to display on your friends list saying that you're idling cards. Um, in a game, blah, blah, blah. If you want to set this up, this is a string value. So you type in words and it will display on your Steam uh, friends list what you're doing. 
uh, hours until car drops, basically I recommend you just set this to zero. Basically, uh, what will this do is Archie um, will wait until you have at least have three hours in a game before basically activating itself and start idling. So if you're also setting idle refundable games to um, to allow Archie to idle refundable games, then just go ahead and set this to zero also. Uh, once again, I recommend you read this if you're really confused about what certain things do. I'm going to go ahead and take this and put on my other monitor real quick because I'm going to go ahead and enter in my Steam password. So I entered in my Steam password and my login. And now we can go ahead and click create at the bottom here. We're going to hear beep here. If we open up Archie Steam Farm, we're going to get this message. This is just because we haven't encrypted our file yet. Our, our uh, password yet, I mean. So just go ahead and put your password in again. And now we're going to get a Steam Guard code. You can go ahead and type that in also. And it's going to check for badges. And then it's going to automatically start idling uh, games. As you can see, I have 17, uh, 69 cards I need to idle, which will take roughly one day. Um, but we want to encrypt our password. So if we go to commands here on the web UI and type in password. We're going to get the AES also, but we're going to, since we selected protected data for current user, we're going to use this one instead. So just cop copy everything after password here. I'm going to go ahead and do that, copy. And then we're going to go into the config folder here, and we'll see our JSON file for our BART we created through the web UI. We're going to right-click that and go edit. I'm going to delete where it says my password. So right here, you should have had your password right here. Basically, you're going to remove that and now right click and paste your encrypted uh, password that Archie generated for you. And password format is two, which is basically the um, protected uh, data for current user uh, security we're using. So once you paste it in there, go ahead and save this and then close the JSON file. And now I recommend you close Archie and then go back into the root folder and go ahead and run the exe file one more time. This time we won't get an error, so now we know everything is working fine. And now you'll start idling uh, for Steam cards. I will be going over the web UI now, so let's get right into the web UI. So basically down here you can see information given, cards remaining, memory usage, and uptime. Uh, if you have multiple bots, you can select which ones are running online. As you can see, it's going away when I take certain things. Uh, going into stuff as such as global config, this is what we edited at the beginning. You can change your IPC password, for example, if you'd like to, and uh, switch to optimization mode. This is what we generated at the beginning. Uh, UI configuration, I recommend you turn on timestamps for the log so you can see timestamps. Um, there's some other things such as release notifications that are pretty nice also. Uh, releases, you can see new releases. Clicking here will take you straight to the GitHub. I mentioned the log. This will just log everything. Commands, you can enter in commands here. So a bunch of commands are on the wiki, but for example, if you type in uh, play and then your bot name, I named it Crazy Ian, and then an app ID 753, for example, uh, bot Crazy Ian will start playing Steam. So if you, for example, want to start playing a specific game, run this uh, command in whatever the app ID is. Um, if you don't know where to get the app ID, it's in the Steam URL sometimes for the on the store page, but also you can use Steam Database to look it up. Going on to the top here, you can update, restart, or exit. Top right, settings, box layout, or you can have dark mode and change the theme a bit. Right here is for language. Go ahead and select your language. Hopefully you're in English because this tutorial is in, it, in English. Uh, but up here we have basic info given. Uh, clicking on the bot here, you can do a couple cool stuff. Right here is all the games that I have set up to idle for Steam cards. If I click on this one, for example, it also takes you straight to the store page. So if you want more info about the game. Uh, up here, you can edit the config for the bot here that we uh, you know, edited at the beginning here. So maybe you want to set up trading now. You can do that or accept gifts. Just be sure to uh, save the bot at the bottom. You can also copy it if you set up multiple bots. Maybe you like the settings for this one. Going back again. Right here, BGR, basically, this is key activation. 
Um, especially if you collect games like me and you get a lot of scheme keys, um, you'll know that there's a limit uh, on how many games you can enter. Usually it's around 20 for me that I usually get it, but basically it'll pop up saying you no longer can activate keys. So if that's the case, basically you can queue up keys to be activated and Archie will automatically activate them over time for you. Uh, right here to FA, this is uh, involved in trading and right here you can pause the bot if you'd like to and I'll pause it or you can start playing it again or starting it again and you can also just stop the bot completely. And then also from there, you can delete the bot if you like. But yeah, uh, hopefully you got idling set up and um, everything in this tutorial made sense to you. If you have any other questions, um, be sure to message in the comments. I'll try my best to help you out. More tutorials are coming. Let me know what you guys want and what you want to see. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video.